As the new age began in 2020, most of us moved to a home workspace. We made space in the bedroom or in the spare room. Everybody now needs a desk space for productivity and space for solitude. A desk setup obviously has to start with a desk and I needed a flexible one with the sit and stand option and of course a reliable affordable option. Flowdesk is a made in India product and it is a smart table that intuitively adapts to your work modes at the press of a button. The ergonomic design results in an immediate jump in your productivity and health, keeping you in a state of flow. So I checked with them and found out that they have a rental subscription model which you can later buy out as well. I found the offer quite doable as during the rental duration I could even return the desk if I didn't find it worthy. But honestly, I really love this. The look, the material, the entire proportion and the overall experience that I finally bought it off after many months of rental use. I opted for this wall and finish as I wanted this dark woody theme so I even painted the wall to a grey tone, although I now wish to paint it matte black. The most important equipment for a creative individual like me has to be a computer and I think it was a good time to get myself the M1 Pro MacBook Pro so this entire setup runs on this beast of a machine. My major requirements are graphic design, video editing, music, a beautiful display, portability and of course the form factor. Only the MacBook Pro could meet my expectation to be honest. You will not find any cheaper Windows equivalent of a laptop with that much battery life, screen and the entire OS experience. I've made a review about this laptop, you can check it out in the link below. This is the LG Ultra Gear 80cm or 32 inches QHD which is 2K gaming monitor with 144Hz of refresh rate and uh, Radeon FreeSync and I've been using this for the past two years and I mostly use this monitor for my editing timeline or anything when I need a bigger real estate for visuals or anything that doesn't need color clarity. This is an IPS panel and not a 4K display. I'm still looking out for a decent 4K monitor with a 120Hz refresh rate or higher at least and if you have any suggestion for any ultra wide monitor which is above 30 inches please let me know. But to be honest this monitor has always served my purpose really well so far. I'm using the same old Magic Keyboard from 2018 and it still serves me really well. Do I need to upgrade to another keyboard for any actual purpose? No. A keyboard is a keyboard and this one is just perfect for me. The Logitech MX Master 2 is really my favorite and I have been using it for more than 2 years now. I have changed my devices and everywhere it has been my best friend. I am still using it daily but I am now thinking of making a slight switch, I will tell you about it and that is. I'm exploring the use of a drawing tablet actually. The Huion Inspiroi Dial, the newest addition to my desk. I used to be really good at sketching during my school and college days but with time I got busy in the industry. I started losing touch to the main reason I came into this creative field which is sketching. Your sketches and strokes are one of the best ways to express your creative thoughts. Putting your designs on a piece of paper has been the most popular mode of translating designs for centuries and I want to get back to that practice and hence I intend to use this tablet more than the mouse and I am just learning my way into it. Videos of my drawings will be up soon. One for the running projects and the other for archiving completed projects. Each YouTube video file I create is about 30 GB on an average and for this kind of running space I definitely need an external SSD for super fast data transfer and I use the Samsung T5. It is not advised to use the computer storage space as it is needed for running the computer system entirely. And when I'm done posting the video, I transfer it to my WD 4TB My Passport Ultra Portable external hard drive which has a USB Type-C port for connection which itself is faster than a USB 2.0. The 
This is an external port and I mainly use it for lighter work like connecting it to the monitor bar light and the audio interface which is not required for data transfer. This is also a made in India product called PI Box India. This is the basis monitor light with touch sensor. I have actually removed all the other extra lights from my desk after installing this as this throws the right amount of light to the right area of focus. And since it is a USB powered LED, I don't even have to think about switching it on separately. It just switches on with the computer. It has three switchable modes, dimmable computer light for desk, office, home. And honestly, my focus duration on any kind of work has increased drastically after getting this. Let's talk about audio. Let's start with the interface. Focusrite Scarlett Solo. I bought this for recording my guitar playthrough, but now this is an important part of the desk as this connects my speaker monitors, my guitar, and even this mic that I use for my voice recording. I must say this is a high quality third gen audio interface that also runs on USB type C and with the right kind of budget. I can plug in my guitar and mic together and even my studio headphones. The Audio-Technica ATH M50X is an over-ear professional studio monitor headphones that I love using while I am recording music or voice. You must be thinking what an overkill as I also have the Kali Audio LP6 powered studio monitor but I definitely need to use the headphones to avoid feedback noise that can get to the mic from the speakers. Kali Audio's Lone Pine series studio monitors are designed to allow you to hear every detail that's happening in your mix. This starts with exceptionally accurate frequency response. Whatever is present on your mix is what you'll hear in these monitors. Nothing is boosted or suppressed to cover flaws or try to sound more pleasing like the regular pair of speakers that we use every day. I also use the Samsung earbuds which are now my regular go-to as these just fit in my ears perfectly. This is rather more convenient when I go for jogs or exercise or any activity. I got this CCS custom made neon logo and I really love it. Let me know what you think about the logo and about the neon light. I got this made from this Bangalore based brand called the Neon Paradise. And IKEA artificial green is always a YouTuber symbol, so I couldn't miss it. And here it is. The Daily Objects mouse pad made with felt keeps a tidy space to make all my keyboard, mouse, and my phone. Well, this is pretty much it about my desk space, but I hope to upgrade my chair and the rest of the room space. And it'll happen only once my channel gets monetized. For that, I will need you to like this video and definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm leaving the link to all the products in the description below. I hope you like my desk setup and I would love to know what you really think is missing and how can I make it better. All suggestions invited.